Recently, ice has been discovered on the surface of the moon. Some people might think there could be ice on the moon, but in reality, it's not such a simple matter. The presence of oxygen and water is essential for the formation of ice. However, as many of you may already know, there may be ice on the surface of the moon, but there is no liquid water or oxygen. Then how did ice form on the moon without liquid water and oxygen? Scientists expressed being very perplexed about this. More precisely, hematite has been discovered on the moon. The reason why the discovery of hematite perplexed scientists is that hematite is a form of oxidized iron, a mineral that cannot be formed on the moon. Hematite, when considered in relation to Earth, can only be formed with the presence of oxygen and water. However, since the moon lacks oxygen and water, it can be said that the conditions for the formation of hematite do not exist on the moon. Moreover, the moon is directly exposed to the solar wind emitted by the sun. The solar wind contains a significant amount of ionized hydrogen. This hydrogen transfers its own electrons to the substances on the moon. However, the process of oxidation occurs when a substance loses electrons. Hence, despite the presence of all essential elements for oxidation on the moon, it should not occur due to the direct exposure to the solar wind. But hematite has been found on the moon, and the exact circumstances remain a mystery. This hematite was discovered in the data collected by India's Chandrayaan-1 orbiter. The data was meticulously analyzed using NASA's hyperspectral imaging technique. Using this method, ice deposits were also discovered at the lunar poles in 2018. However, this time, hematite, a substance never before found on the moon, has been discovered. At that moment, scientists were both puzzled and intrigued. Could there be a mistake in the analysis? They even asked NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab for a double check on whether hematite had truly been found during the analysis. At first, scientists simply couldn't believe such a discovery. How on earth does the existence of hematite on the moon make sense? First, scientists decided to investigate in what form hematite is distributed on the moon. The investigation revealed that the distribution of hematite on the lunar surface is closely related to the presence of water in the form of ice. This suggests that water in the form of ice could gradually mix with lunar materials, and there's a possibility it was formed by the release of water molecules during collisions, creating dust particles in the process. Furthermore, it has been additionally confirmed that the majority of hematite found on the moon is concentrated on the side facing Earth. When the moon is positioned in the tail of Earth's magnetosphere, oxygen from Earth's upper atmosphere can be carried to the lunar surface by the solar wind. This suggests that the oxygen transported from Earth may play a significant role in oxidizing hematite on the moon. However, this speculation does not explain why hematite is also found on the far side of the moon, where it is challenging for Earth's oxygen to reach. Perhaps the very small amount of water found at high latitudes on the moon had some impact on the formation of hematite on the far side of the moon. Nevertheless, the most crucial point is that all these narratives are mere speculations. To understand why the moon is rusting, we need more data than what is currently available. Scientists are hopeful that NASA's Artemis exploration mission scheduled for 2024 will provide more insights into the reasons for the presence of hematite on the moon. If the mystery of hematite is resolved, our understanding of the moon could be significantly upgraded. Perhaps Earth has played a crucial role in shaping the lunar surface over an extended period. Or there could be an entirely different reason altogether. <laughs>